Hello, hello guys. Uh, Perev, Namaste, Diepi, Sanbonani, Bemor, Baba, Ola, Bonjour. <laughs> anyway, uh, today we have a schematic a laptop, a Dell XPX this time, okay? Let's say you have an issue when you turn on the machine. Uh, maybe stars turn on, you do get an, an LED light, meaning it's powering on, but there is no information on the screen. Or otherwise, let's say we do, you do have the information on the screen, but there is no big light, meaning you have to use an extra light or your torch to see the information on the screen. Okay, For any laptop is what you do. Okay, first of all, you need to. I mean to move around on your schematic or search on your schematic search for LCD or LVDS right away you will find the LVDS okay this is an LVDS uh, connector here and these are all the related components to a string all right remember this is on board on the laptop motherboard forget about the laptop string but you have to check here first and right before you even check here you do what you change the laptop screen you have to change the laptop screen and if it still gives you the same issue there is information i mean uh, but there is no big light if the screen is just a uh, dim this is what you do listen to me carefully you have to check your motherboard check on this section on the schematic okay uh i'm close to a um, lcd connector or lvps connector you have to check there all right in that case it means your screen doesn't receive the 19 volts might be a faulty lvds cable of which is rare this can happen but it's very rare and but most and most times the issue is coming from where from the motherboard okay let's zoom close here you can see this is a connect all right so on the connector you will have Mm, different pins small pins there and here on pin number one and pin number two on this laptop on this model you should check for the 19 volt you should receive the 19 volts here okay there should be uh 19 volts on this point all right why the 19 volts this 19 volts is needed on the screen to be converted from a lower voltage into a higher voltage so that you will have what so that you will have what a big light okay so obvious here you will get zero volts i'm telling you if you have that issue you will get zero volts if you do the receive the 19 volts yeah then this means your problem is on the lvds cable or you have to use another dead screen meaning you don't have to trust your second screen use another screen a dead string or fourth screen okay but after changing all those strings and you still have the same issue and here you have the 19 volts it means you have a problem with what with your lvds cable let's say you have zero volts here then what next what do you do it's easy don't panic we have to press it back where it's being generated and on the same schematic where you are there it is inverter power there we go this is where the v the n19 is coming from okay the same same vpl19 from pin number one and number two is being generated from here it's coming from where from the pc that's out don't worry don't worry yourself about this you can check the resistor of which is very rare to be a resistor because this would be a zero ohm resistor acting more like a fuse and you can check it as well maybe if it spans then you'll have an issue but the most common this would be your problem the fuse you will have to change this fuse check this fuse for for continuity if not check for shorts there might be a short somewhere 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 here okay of which is rare to happen but in most cases your fuse the fuse will be the issue change this fuse f1 okay let's change the scenario let's go back here let's say you do have the 19 volts and uh screen does receive uh power but no information somehow on the screen this is what you should check 
the screen itself it does receive power i'm not sure if you have noticed uh it's called scd vdd in a case where there's nothing wrong with your backlight at screen receiver is i mean the screen doesn't receive any power at all it doesn't go blank but remember one thing when you press a power button and you are waiting for a laptop to show something on the screen normally it goes black fast and then you will have a big light it's blackness thing there it means the screen is receiving what it's receiving power all right so in a case where there is no power on the screen this is what you do pin number five and pin number nine you should get what the 3.3 volts normally this lcd vtt is always the 3.3 volts but it's for the screen it's not for the back lights okay where is this lcd vtt generated being generated it's easy same page where you are uh there it is this will be your problem you will have okay no 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 wait it's not this one there it is this will be your problem you will have to check this chip Check the pin in and check the pin out pin out is for lcd vtt okay and again the lcd vtt is being enabled as well uh i believe this is coming from the startup chip if i'm not mistaken yes it's coming from the startup chip so hey you and on the screen uh feeling this chip and then this chip will allow the pin out the voltage out to go into a into a stream and check this fuse you will never know you will never no believe me anyway this is it don't complicate things this is easy and anyway i love you so much guys bye, -bye.